Hey guys, by popular request, I am doing a best of 2018 in skincare. I wasn't really planning on doing this. I was actually planning on doing something in the new year, like, you know, like an updated skincare routine kind of video, but I thought this would be just as fun and it would probably end up being most of the same products, if not all of the same products. A lot of this may be redundant if you guys have been with me for a while. It may be a little bit redundant from like my past skincare routine uh, videos because I don't really change up my skincare too much. I have very fickle skin and so when I find something that does work, I tend to really stick with it. And then a few things I just want to mention before we get into this. One, I am not a doctor or dermatologist esthetician, anything like that. So all of my opinions are just from my experience uh, with these products. I don't have like really in-depth knowledge about ingredients and things like that. I have very, very picky skin. And even with any kind of research that I've done in the past, it doesn't necessarily always relate to my skin. So that's also something I just wanna mention that like, you really need to try stuff for yourself. You know, watching a ton of YouTube videos, like I'll watch Carolyn Hirons and Stephanie Nicole, and they're so knowledgeable and they're so great. But if I were to take all of the recommendations, I would probably look like a burn victim. I would probably have, you know, my eczema would be popping out. And that actually leads me to the second thing I wanna mention is what kind of skin I have. So that gives you a bit of a reference point uh, in terms of the products that I'm talking about. So I'm 45. I have and have always had really dry skin. It's not like my skin has gotten dry, you know, as I've gotten older. No, I've never, I never had like an acne problem in high school. I just always had really, really dry skin. And towards the end of high school, I want to say like between my junior and senior year. So around when I was like 16, I got started to develop like really horrible eczema. It affected my face uh, first, and then I would get kind of like patches on my body, which weren't quite as severe, but the eczema on my face was very, very bad. It was weepy. It was really it was really unsightly. And so for a long time, I couldn't wear makeup. You know, skincare was like such an issue. I, there were a lot of things I couldn't use, but then things that were, you know, prescribed to me that were like supposed to be eczema safe weren't for me. It was like, I just had to try things out for myself. So that's probably why I have the attitude that I have when it comes to skincare. It's like, I could go through and read the ingredients for something from top to bottom, and it could be completely quote unquote clean. And my and it could give me it could bring out my eczema you know it just everyone's skin is completely different and then the last thing i want to mention is that i don't have anything um, actually don't have any makeup on except for lipstick which is pretty obvious but i don't know i really like to do skincare videos with absolutely nothing on my skin because that way if i need to kind of reference something that i'm talking about i can it's not like buried under you know foundation or whatever so anyway i'm completely barefaced <laughs> So I apologize. Um, all right, let's just go ahead and get started. Let me just talk about uh, makeup remover or how I remove my makeup and my favorite things. I just wanna get this out of the way because I've talked about this product incessantly. This is the Kogendo Cleansing Spa Water. So this is what I go in to remove my makeup first. I have tried all kinds of other micellar waters like everything, Bioderma, ones from like Target, really high-end ones, even the La Mer one I've tried, nothing, absolutely nothing measures up to this. I have probably been using this cleansing spa water for, I want to say 10 years. I first purchased this at Barney's. They were the only ones that carried it. This was really hard to find in the beginning and I just, I sought it out. You know, this was the only thing that uh, takes makeup off very effectively, even waterproof mascara, and it leaves my skin feeling really, really soft. So I just love, love this. I'm not gonna go on and on because again, I've talked about this incessantly. And then some face cleaners. So when I go in and remove my makeup with this, and so I'm talking about my nighttime uh, face cleaner, I will then go in with the Retrouve uh, Luminous Cleansing Elixir. This is actually a pump and it's a balm. So the balm is basically already kind of broken down already. It's not like a solid balm. And this is wonderful. This is like all made in the US. It has like those clean ingredients, blah, blah, blah. But they do actually work on my skin and it just leaves my skin feeling really, really soft. So after I put this on, I don't wet my face or anything. I just pump two pumps out into my hand. I just kind of roll it around and then I just spread it all over my face and I just really work it in. It has such 
a luxuriously kind of like silky feeling. I just break down like any remaining uh, makeup. This doesn't leave that much makeup, but like a little bit, especially, you know, I'll use this knowing I'm going in with this. So this is just sort of like a cursory makeup remover step for me. And then this really breaks it all down. And then I'll take like a warm uh, like muslin cloth and then I'll just wipe it all off from my skin and it leaves my skin so like luminous as the name would suggest a luminous cleansing elixir it really leaves my skin feeling really clean but moisturized but there's no film it doesn't feel greasy it just feels really really clean without feeling stripped at all so I love this and their site, I don't know if it's still going on, but their uh, Retrovase site was having a 20% off deal. And so I purchased two more of these <laughs> as a backup. Um, and yeah, I, I don't foresee myself like not ever using this. It's, it's just fantastic, it's amazing. And then in terms of a morning cleanse, uh, if I don't work out or if I don't feel like especially grubby, sometimes I'll just go in with this, you know, and I'll just kind of like, you know, lightly wipe it all over my face just to get off any kind of like nighttime grub. Some days I just don't feel like I need a lot of cleanse, but if I do go work out and, you know, I'm in the shower, I do want to wash my face. And these are the two washes that I've really been reaching for quite a bit. This one is the Frank Body Creamy Face Cleanser. This was sent to me and I really like this cleanser. This is another one. I don't feel like it strips my skin at all, but my skin definitely feels really clean afterwards. It's one of those cleansers that's like, like, um, it has like a gray kind of coloring to it. So when I first used this, I thought it was going to be way too drying. I don't know. Anything that's like gray, black in color, I always feel like is going to be drying. I don't know why. But this has like a lot of oils in there. Sweet almond oil is uh, like one of the first ingredients. Um, there's coffee seed extract in here. And then there's some ingredients down towards the bottom, which I normally shy away from. So things like salicylic acid, these are things that I can't really use. So I don't use this every day. I can't use it every day. I did for a while and I started to see like um, my eczema patches kind of coming up around like my eye area and I'll get it also like here on the top of my cheek and I'll get it on my forehead. Anyway, I can't use this every day because I do think it's a little bit too strong, but every once in a while I can probably use this, I want to say every third day, just on the average. I'll use this and it's great. My skin doesn't react to it then. It like gives my skin plenty of time to basically like heal itself. So this is one that I've been using a lot and this has been like a great find for me in 2018. I'm actually loving this line a lot, this Frank Body line, it's really great. And then this uh, other cleanser is the one that I use uh, more often than the Frank Body in the mornings, like in the shower. This is the Josh Rosebrook Complete Moisture Cleanse. It comes out of this pump and it feels like a lightweight lotion almost. It has absolutely zero foaming. You just kind of spread it all over your face. It just feels really, really nice. And again, my skin feels refreshed without feeling dry at all. It actually feels pretty moisturized <laughs> once I'm done with this. Um, and this is a really beautiful like glass bottle. Um, and Josh Rosebrook is known for like clean ingredients and things like that. In fact, I think he started with hair care and then moved into skincare. And it's uh, made in the US. And I purchased this off of a site called Folane. Folene, Folane, F-O-L-L-A-I-N. Anyway, I'll link it down below. I don't think they actually mark down this product, but I think sometimes they'll have on their site like 15% off or, you know, 20% off like a certain amount if you have, um, if you reach a certain amount. So anyway, again, I'll link it down below in my description box. So that's the Josh Rosebrook Complete Moisture Cleanse. So I don't actually have a bottle of my favorite toner because I went through it and I moved on to a different toner, which I like, but I don't like as much as this toner, which is the Lamer the tonic. So I'll just pop like a little picture of it up here. I love this toner. Um, toner for me, I think toners can serve different purposes depending on your skin type and what you need. Um, but for me, I just want to kind of rebalance the pH levels on my skin. So toning is something that I do whenever like water hits my face. That's when your pH balance kind of goes awry on, on your skin. And so I use it whenever water has like touched my face. So basically it's after I've cleansed. I love the La Mer, the tonic. It just leaves my skin. I'm going to I sound very, very much like a broken record, but my skin feels very refreshed. 
uh, but not drying and it just feels it just feels very very balanced I have very very hard water here in Vegas and so it really feels like it kind of just takes that film off so I love that La Mer the tonic it's really really great so in terms of serums and uh, oils this is actually fairly new to my collection I got these maybe a couple months ago but I've been using them and I'm completely addicted they have made my skin i feel like look a lot more even you know so many of the products that i use they make my skin feel really soft or they make my skin you know like look plumper or whatever this um, these two products i use them together do all that but they also just like really even out my skin tone like it, they're magical so i use these at night and i'm i'm sorry i should just tell you what i'm talking about so this is the kipris um, antioxidant dew and their beauty elixir one 1000 roses so this was sent to me they sent this to me and i was using it by itself it's a very very like thick concentrated oil so you only need like a couple of drops at most and i would just kind of you know dab it on my face but i was reading up on their products because i was pretty impressed with this i also have a mask of theirs which i'll talk about that i love and so they have these serums and you can like mix these two together and kind of like create your own combo uh depending on your skin type so i got the antioxidant dew and this is the quench and glow serum so i will use like a whole dropper full of this it's probably equates to like six to eight drops and then I'll use two drops of this I'll mix them together and I will do this after I have toned my skin and I use these products at night and I'll just you know just smear it all over my face it absorbs fairly quickly I pretty much have to wait at least 15 minutes before I go in with my moisturizer these two products have really like I feel like changed my skin I feel like so many of the skincare products that I have um, either are like solving a problem or they're just sort of like putting off time like they're just sort of I don't know putting off wrinkles for another couple of months or years if we're lucky but this these products I feel like have actually changed my skin. They leave my skin, like I wake up and my skin looks like almost like it's brand new, like really, really luminous and even. I have pretty blotchy skin. So again, I'm glad I didn't put any makeup on, um, but I have pretty like blotchy skin here. Um, I almost have like, um, like if you have it on the back of your arms, it's almost considered like chicken skin. I have a version of that right here. I've always suffered from a lot of blotchy redness here. And from my eczema, I have a lot of like, you know, discoloration and kind of like scarring and just, you know, weird things. I have a lot of weird things going on all over my face. And this... I feel like, I don't know if it's solved those problems, but it's really calmed it down. It's really calmed down the redness here. I have like this weird scar tissue kind of like around my forehead from my eczema. I feel like that doesn't look quite as bad. I don't know if you guys can see it. I mean, it's still there. You know, it's scar tissue. It's not going to go away, but it's really like... It just feels like totally, totally different. Yeah, and I just, I don't know, I just love the texture of my skin now. It just, yeah, it's just really been life-changing. So the Kipris, again, they have a few different options. And again, you're gonna wanna choose something that's you know right for your skin type. I always look for things that are like hydrating, uh, for sensitive skin, things like that. So again, I have the antioxidant dew uh, for this serum, the Quench and Glow Serum. And then the Beauty Elixir, I have Beauty Elixir number one, which which is the 1000 Roses. It's moisturizing, multi-active beauty oil. And I didn't necessarily have very high hopes for these because, again, because my skin is so weird, sometimes when things are like all natural and just really highly concentrated in like one ingredient, that will freak my skin out. But these have been magical. So I've been loving this combination. I use it at night only because I would use it morning and night, but I only use it at night because um, these two do take a bit to kind of sink into my skin. And generally in the morning, I just want to get my skincare routine over with so I can put my makeup on. Um, so anyway, I leave this for the evening time. And while I'm talking about Kipris, the mask I was talking about, and I think I've mentioned this uh, in a previous video, but this was also sent to me. This is the Cerulean Soothing Hydration Recovery Mask. And and look at this mask. It's like a jelly and it just smells like the spa. 
So when they sent this to me, it was I received it basically the day before I left for New York City. So the woman that I had been emailing with about this, she said this, oh, you're going away? Perfect, because it's so great, like after a long flight, it's also great for like, uh, intense wind, uh, sunburn, sun exposure, things like that. It's a very cooling, soothing, hydrating kind of mask. And I'm like, I feel like that's what I need. I need cooling and hydrating. Cause again, I, this redness, I don't know. It just always makes me feel like my skin is like really, really hot. Like my skin always feels like it's really like active and kind of angry. So I used this in New York, uh, for the first time. And it was it was everything she said. It was like perfect for after the flight, uh, which is pretty long between here and New York. And and then the New York like uh, climate is so different from here in Vegas. So my skin was adjusting and this really, really helped. So I also brought this along on vacation when I went to Mexico because I knew I'd be getting a lot of sun. And so after the first day of sun, the sun down there is very intense. Um, I got most of the color that you see on my face, I got like on the first day because after that I was very careful and kind of tried to stay out of the sun. Um, but I used this probably two, I was there for seven days. I probably used this twice while I was there. It was a lifesaver. My skin was again, like just feeling really hot, especially from the sun It naturally feels kind of hot. And I usually do because my skin is so dry. I usually do like major major peeling and I have a little bit of flaking up here but I think because of this mask it really just it's not bad at all like it's it's great it just you know it's just I have like a little bit of like skin lifting I mean generally like I'll have like flakes of like I can literally like peel my skin off especially from my forehead uh when I get too much sun and this I think has been a lifesaver. And I think this really made the difference. I put this on like right after I got in from the sun, like I washed my face, like all my sunscreen off or whatever, you know, did a couple steps and then threw this on and it was, oh, it was like heaven, like just sitting there after you'd been in the sun and putting this cooling mask on, it was amazing. So I'm loving this mask. And while we're talking about masks, um, I have two that I like that are really just hydrating, just really, really hydrating masks. If I'm feeling really super duper dry, I'll reach for one of these. I like them both. Uh, I really can't say that I like one over the other. I, I just, I really like them both. So the La Mer, the Intensive Revitalizing Mask and the Sisley Black Rose uh, Cream Mask. I, I really like them both. This one has just a really lovely scent and in the instructions for this it even tells you to you know squeeze some out into your hand and then like take like three deep inhales of the mask because it is really so um invigorating it's a really it's a really lovely scent i'm just gonna spread some out on my hands here and i've been using this for quite some time i really like this mask and then sisley this is pretty new to me even though this is not a new product but this is just something i started using this past year and like i said it's kind of interchangeable with this at least for me they're both just very very moisturizing they make my skin look plump uh when i wake up i you know i look very like youthful i don't tend to use masks like overnight I don't know, I feel like I just move around too much and I don't want it to get everywhere. So I just throw it on before I go to sleep and then I remove it. Yeah, and so when I wake up, I just feel like really, really moisturized, like deeply, deeply moisturized. All right, so those are the masks that I use. Let's talk about exfoliators. So again, because my skin is so sensitive and freakish, I can't use any chemical kind of exfoliants, anything with acids. I stay away from vitamin C, I stay away from retinols, any of those things, they set off my eczema pretty badly. So I have to use physical exfoliants, which I know a lot of people kind of shy away from because that's so rough and you're like tearing up your skin, but it's the only kind of exfoliators that I can use and I don't feel like it's damaging my skin. So there's two that I really, really like and the first one is the La Mer, the Replenishing Oil Exfoliator. This was new this year. So they used to have a different uh, like mask kind of exfoliator. It felt like it was kind of in a clay. I don't know if you guys remember that one. So this one is actually more in like in an oil cream, like a thick oil. I remember testing this out and reading reviews and people complained that they thought that the scrubby bits were too big, that were they were too rough. I don't find that to be the case. If you use it on dry skin by itself, 
I do feel like maybe I could see you finding it like a little bit too rough, but if you wet, um, like if you add a little bit of this into your palm and then you add a little bit of water and you kind of massage it before you put it on your face, those granules I feel like break down a little bit and then you can put it on your face and I don't think that those, they're too rough. Uh, so I really enjoy this and the oil base in there really leaves your skin feeling very moisturized and soothed afterwards. So I love this one. I've been using this a lot. I keep this in the shower. And then this Sisley Gentle Facial Buffing Cream. This is one of those um, kind of exfoliators. I've only ever used a, another one like this, but it's the ones that you like rub into your skin and the texture of it starts to change and kind of harden and dry out. And as it's doing that, it's picking up like all of the dry uh, skin cells that you have basically on your dermis. So let me just show you what this looks like. So there's nothing really like gritty per se in here. I mean, mildly only because the texture of this is just kind of thick, but the action of the exfoliation is more of just this kind of hardening up and it kind of just grabbing onto um, like old cells and it just starts to flake off. So it gets to the point where you just start to kind of like flake um, everything off. So you have to do this uh, like over your sink and you can't use this with any water because then you're just diluting it and that's not going to happen so you have to have a dry face a dry environment dry hands um, do it over your sink and i just need like a little bit a little bit goes a long way with that and you know again you just kind of start to rub it in and as it's flaking off you'll kind of see your skin like it looks like like a new layer has emerged and your skin just ends up feeling so soft afterwards. So I really love this, but because this takes a little bit more planning for me, I'm usually kind of just like jumping in and out of the shower. I don't use this quite as much as I use this one, but I like it. I like having like these different kinds of exfoliators um, that are like acid chemical free. So that's the Sisley Gentle Facial Buffing Cream. So moisturizers, uh, I have a day cream and a night cream. So um, I think you guys have probably heard me talk about La Mer incessantly. Again, this was the one product that really helped kind of keep my eczema at bay. It would even kind of clear up my eczema. The only kind of like over the counter product and that was the La Mer moisturizing cream like the original cream the only thing that they had in their line when they first started and I started using that in like 1997 and it was a lifesaver and I used the original cream for a very long time but it is so thick and it is so dense and if you don't have like super dry skin I think you'll probably find it a little overwhelming um, you have to use just the littlest, littlest bit. Because my eczema is definitely a little bit better, so I've made a lot of changes in my life to kind of help my eczema. I've also heard uh, as you get older, um, the eczema kind of, kind of starts to resolve itself a little bit. So anyway, all that to say is I've gone from, I used to use the original cream and then they came out with the soft cream. So I use that. And then they came out with, actually, I think they may have come out with this at the same time as a soft cream, but this is the moisturizing soft lotion. It comes in the uh, pump, so it doesn't come in a jar, which was more appealing to me also. And so I used to use this, I probably used this for five years, just all over my face all the time, morning, noon, night, whenever I needed to moisturize my face, this is the one I would use. But I have just started using this at night because I have found another cream that I absolutely love and I started using this during the day and this is the Sisley Velvet Nourishing Cream. This is new in 2018. It has saffron flowers in there. It has the most beautiful like soft gentle scent. It just smells really clean. It smells very spa-like like most of the Sisley products. It has this really like pudding like texture. It's thick but it's not like La Mer thick. Like La Mer Thick is so, it's so dense. This is just a really nice like pudding like texture. It's so gorgeous on the skin and I just, I just love it. I feel like this and these Kipris products are like the find 
the find of 2018. And then just a couple more things. God, I feel like I've been talking forever. The Josh Rosebrook Hydrating Accelerator Moisturizing Facial Mist. It is really dry here in Vegas. It's it's the winter now. Um, so I have been using this as soon as I wake up in the morning and it's great. This is such a great like boost of moisture and it's so refreshing. I really love this one. And while we're on the mist topic, I also really love this Kogendo Herbal Spa Mist. This is actually, I feel like it's very similar to the Josh Rosebrook, but what I do like about the Kogendo is that it comes in this like, I think it's like an aluminum can, so it keeps the mist really cool. So when you spray this on your face, it's like a really like nice kind of like wake up. So this is also really lovely. Um, this I just happen to keep by my bed. So, um, so I just have been grabbing for this one more, but this one's on my vanity and I'll use this if I feel like I just need kind of like a freshen up. And this one I also really love, but this is the Sisley Floral Spray Mist. And this I would only recommend for dry skin. This has a really nice one of those like automatic sprays and it's also in a metal tube so it's really light but I'm actually going to spray this for you right now. It's really moisturizing. I don't know if you guys can see that but it will leave your skin very, very, very moisturized and it doesn't feel like oily at all. It just... It's just such a boost of hydration. These are as well, but there's something like lighter about these. This one, I just, I definitely feel like it's more intense. Like there's more going on with this one. There's rose, cornflower, and witch hazel in this. It's alcohol free. So I don't know, maybe it's just more concentrated. I don't know what the deal is. Again, I don't know if you guys can see anything on camera, but I always feel like my skin is always like, like kind of like super glowy after I use uh, this spray. And then in terms of skin protection, this is the Shantikai um, Ultra Sun Protection uh, Sunscreen. It's an SPF 45. This is what I had on my face in Mexico the whole time. It is a really great primer also, but I tend to really use this for the SPF, or that's what I think of when I think of this product. It's great. It has like a really weird texture. It has, it's almost kind of slimy, but it's very loose. It's very, very runny, but I really like this. This is basically the SPF that I use on my face. Okay, I think that is it. That's it. If I've missed anything, just comment down below. Ask me what my favorite fill in the blank is, and I will let you know. I hope this was, you know, helpful. Again, I find skincare to be so personal, which is why I don't talk about it too much. Not only do I find it personal, but my skin is so, you know, finicky. I, you know, I really just feel like so many times I've listened to a YouTuber or I've read a blog or an article and they like rave about something and I'll run out and I'll get it. You know, they're like, this is perfect for dry skin. And I'm like, this doesn't do shit. So I really implore you to just kind of go out and play around with it. That whole spot test situation is great. So anyway, so that's why I don't really talk about skincare too much on my channel, but you guys requested this and I did want to pass along some of my favorites and some of these things that have worked for me. So if you have similar skin to me, which is just, I don't know, picky bitch skin, that's basically what I call my skin. She's a picky bitch. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe down below and I will see you in my next video.